Welcome to your Season 19 Blaseball weather update. This is the late season forecast. Warning, this video contains forbidden knowledge. Stop watching now if you do not wish to access hidden information. This video would not have been possible without the work of the Society for Internet Blazeball Research. Ah, the late season. Flooding and Sun 2 are once again within two games of each other, and Black Hole is a strong third place. We will see four polarity games and five glitter, so let's go. Tokyo hosts the most Sun 2 games, and down in Mexico City there will be lots of Coffee Threes. Kansas City has the most blood rain, and Ohio the most flooding. Meanwhile, Philadelphia will host both the most salmon and the most peanuts, whilst New York sees the most reverb. Stay tuned for a team-by-team -team breakdown of the weather after this short look at how this will affect the snack buffet. Flooding has decreased, as have solar eclipses, which is good news for our beloved players. Both Sun 2 and Black Holes have increased, so Wetzels and Donuts continue to be solid investment forms. The lift will see one opportunity to use sweetener and two to use psychoacoustics as we move into the late season. Their most common weather will be Sun 2, and they not only host the most games of it, but play the most overall as well. The Fridays sadly won't get any feathered friends in the late season, but they will have two chances to see flood pumps in action. Their most frequent weather will be Sun 2. Despite playing just six home games, the mechanics get the chance to use all of their modifications, with one game for each. Their highest weather is also Sun 2, but they'll get to tinker with a polarity game. The garages will be disappointed, as they can't use any modifications during the late season. Instead, they will see lots of black holes, their most played weather. The lovers will get one game of birds for their houses and three coffee games to sweeten. Their joint highest weathers will be sun two and flooding. The tacos get three chances to use psychoacoustics, but nothing for birdhouses. They'll also see five sun two games at home. This increases to six overall and will be their most seen weather. The magic get two opportunities to use solar panels and one to use sweetener. Their most frequent weather is Black Hole, and they play the most games of this of any team. Although they don't get any use for echo chamber or psychoacoustics, the Sunbeams get two games of Sun 2 and one of Salmon while at home. Overall, their most common weather will be Sun 2. The Jazz Hands will be without the use of any of their modifications in the late season, but they do host a glitter game which may help. Their highest weather is Flooding. The Stakes will have a single game in which to use Sweetener. Their most common weather is Flooding, but they will be the only team to host two Polarity games, and one of just two teams to play in it twice. The Spies have one Birds game, but two chances to use Flood Pumps. Their joint highest weathers will be Sun 2 and Flooding. The Wild Wings go all out, getting three chances to use Flood Pumps, plus two Sun 2 and a Birds game along with four opportunities to use sweetener. Their most common weather will be Sun 2, but they will also play the most feedback games of any team. The Breath Mints have three chances to use psychoacoustics and see two solar eclipse games. Their three most seen weathers will be Salmon, Flooding and Blood Rain, and they play the most Blood Rain games of the late season. They will also host a Polarity game. The firefighters get a single use from their renovations, with one game for Echo Chamber. Instead, they will play the most Salmon games of any team, with it as their most frequent weather. The Worms are given two Black Hole games and two chances to use Psychoacoustics, leaping up to six opportunities to see Flood Pumps in action. They will only play three Black Hole games overall, and instead have Flooding as their highest weather. The Moist Talkers have five flooding games at home, but none away, yet it is still their most common weather. They will also play more Solar Eclipse games than any other team. The Flowers have no use for psychoacoustics in the late season, but do see four games for solar panels, and Sun 2 will be their most frequent weather. 
the millennials will get five chances to use psychoacoustics and three for solar panels, but sadly remain decaffeinated. Their most common weather will be reverb and they play the most games in it of any team. The pies sadly get just one birds game in the late season and only see one use for sweetener. They will play in polarity, but their joint highest weathers are salmon and sun too. The crabs see no games for flood pumps and just one for psychoacoustics, but they are given two black hole games. In total, they'll play five, making it their most frequent weather, and they'll also get to play in polarity. The shoe thieves get three chances to use psychoacoustics, but they will be coffeeless in the late season. Their most common weather is sun too, but they are the only team to play in both polarity and glitter, and one of two teams to play in polarity twice. The Georgias only play six home games, but still slip in an opportunity to use both LCD sound system and psychoacoustics. Their joint highest weathers will be black hole and flooding, and they are the only team to play in glitter twice. The Dalle get one chance to use psychoacoustics and LCD sound system, but two games in which to use sweetener. The two weathers they will see the most are salmon and flooding. The Tigers wind down quietly in the late season, seeing just two solar eclipses and no blood rain. Their most common weather will be flooding, and they play the most games of both this and birds of any team. Thanks for tuning into the weather. I'll be back soon, but until then, rejoice, play ball.